Welcome to World Crisis Radio. This is Webster Totley speaking from Washington, D.C., and this is the last program of the old year. We're recording our program here on New Year's Eve. It is December 31st, 2010, and given the uh, change of the years, we want to stress even more than usual the world historical tendencies that are shaping the present world economic depression as we descend further into depression. Now, we're going through a kind of a phase change. The reactionary Republicans will be arriving in Washington, D.C. next week, and they will also be arriving in governor's mansions and state legislatures across the United States. And you can get set for an orgy of Dickensian cruelty, the immorality of primitive accumulation, of brazen looting and asset stripping is now upon us. Uh, a tribe of ogres, if you will, a tribe of ultra-reactionaries, proto-fascists in quite a few cases, uh, people whose cruelty, whose cynicism, uh, duplicity knows no bounds, uh, opinionated petty bourgeois ideologues, fanatics in the service of big, very big finance capital. The Gopocalypse, <laughs> Apocalypse Now, the Gopocalypse, the GOP Apocalypse is now upon us. We've seen the plague of Obama. We've been through two years of Obama, the Wall Street puppet, Obama, the warmonger, Obama, the union buster, Obama, the totalitarian, uh, and so forth. But uh, we are now caught between two terrible uh, threats. On the one hand, the Obama one that we've been we've been living through, but now the new phase, and this one promises to be more abortive, more uh, more more apocalyptic. And I'm not pulling words out of the air. I'm quoting the distinguished ultra reactionary senator from Oklahoma, Coburn, now sporting a beard. Uh, maybe he can't face himself in the mirror every morning, so he's got to disguise himself in his own shaving mirror. He says that we now face apocalyptic spending cuts, apocalyptic spending cuts. And we've heard from this Betsy McCoy, written McCaukey, the uh, arch harpy of the anti-health care uh, pro-insurance company, lobbyists who has been on the uh, the radio boasting that the new Republicans are going to starve the beast of Obamacare. Well, that's that sounds OK. Uh, we don't need Obamacare. But what she means by that is starve the beast means to strip away the health care of the American people through Medicare, Medicaid and so forth, also by removing whatever positive uh, limitations on the power of insurance companies were included as window dressing in this uh, catastrophic Obama health care reform. So apocalyptic spending cuts, time to starve the beast, uh, a tribe of petty bourgeois fanatics uh, who are now uh, at the gates here in Washington and a bunch of uh, Plutocrat governors will be highlighting the case of Florida and Rick Scott, the ex experienced asset stripper from Hospital Corporation of America. The depression, therefore, about to get much worse. And we could be facing something like the default of the United States of America in March. That would be an act of high treason. Let's get it on the scoreboard right away. You vote to make the United States default. You're part of a conspiracy to do that. That's high treason. And that's an overt act. So be warned. The uh, the depression now getting much worse. <laughs> the, the Wall Street Journal this morning says that Borders Books uh, may be about to blow. Borders Books has stopped paying publishers. For those of us who write books, a, a, a heavy blow. Uh, here's the uh, the immediate economic picture. Uh, I think it's uh, it's very grim. Uh, the gasoline price in many localities has now gone above three dollars a gallon. And we've got uh, hedge fund hyenas and asset strippers on the radio eagerly predicting that this will go to $4 and $5 a gallon. 
and we will devote a segment to this secret derivatives committee, the secret committee of, uh, I guess it's 11 zombie bankers who are uh, meeting in secret. Sorry, nine, nine zombie bankers. It's a secret cartel created more or less within the framework of Dodd-Frank, although there is some kind of uh, friction on this, but essentially this is what it is. The uh, ICE Trust and the other company, Market, M-A-R-K-I-T, described by the New York Times as uh, organizing a secret committee of derivatives. And what we'll be doing later on in the show is to plug in the fact that the price of gasoline on the basis of pure speculation using derivatives has gone above $3 a gallon, headed for 4 and headed indeed beyond that. This is the handiwork of that committee. It's uh, got to be linked, uh, plug in the gas price to the existence of the secret committee of the nine uh, oligarchs, and you uh, have got the picture of how you will be uh, looted and flayed alive during 2011. So uh, gas uh, over $3, headed for 4 oil over $90. We've got a tremendous commodity price inflation. It has nothing to do with underlying economic activity. It is pure speculation, pure derivatives speculation. We're therefore looking at endless depression. The other really bad news of the past week has been the Case-Shiller Housing Index. Uh, According to the Wall Street Journal of the 29th of December, housing prices in the United States fell by 1.3% in 20 major U.S. housing markets, down 1.3% in three months. And therefore, according to many consultants, the housing double dip is here. Housing double dip is now a reality that means, obviously, a double dip recession in their terms simply means that the depression, as we see it, the world economic depression that we've been in since uh, 2007, 2008, uh, this continues uh, and is indeed uh, accelerating in many ways. Um, we've also got the uh, the stock market. They point to the stock market. The stock market is ending the year up. Well, yes, thanks to Barky Obama's tax sellout to the rich and super rich, and thanks to his uh, to helicopter Ben Bernanke's QE2 flooding of the financial markets with uh, hot uh, paper dollars. Therefore, there is some money sloshing around, enough to go into the New York stock market and uh, drive it up in the second half of the year. We're also told that uh, unemployment claims for the last week in December have uh, have declined. Well, this, of course, is simply that it was a, a not, it's not the last week. It's the week before Christmas. That is because on Christmas Eve, a lot of these places were closed, right? A lot of the uh, state unemployment offices closed on Christmas Eve. So instead of having a five-day week to put in your unemployment claims, it became a four-day week to put them in. So it's a depression. Uh, just as a sidelight, people are expecting a hecatomb of oligarchs and plutocrats on the 30th and 31st, between yesterday and today, as their greedy heirs decide that they'd rather have the estate uh, proceed under the law of 2010 rather than waiting for 2011. So there are a lot of plugs being pulled and a lot of hospitals and a lot of sick old oligarchs as their greedy heirs decide after consulting with their tax accountants that it's better to have the estate go in during 2010 and 2011, given even even under Barkey's new sellout. And we'll be back in a minute on World Crisis Radio. 